This is question one of the foundation level unit one exam, June 2001, 2011, sorry. First of all, we've got birds visiting a garden, completing the table. The word frequency over here means how many times something happens. So for the robin, just count up one, two, three, four. For the blackbird, three. Each time you have a completed pattern like this with a line going across it, that's five, just speeds up the counting. So five, 10, 11, 12, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then the total, we just need to add those numbers together. Four and three is seven. Seven added on to 12 is 19. 19 plus nine is 28. The next part of the question says, what fraction of the birds are robins? Well, four of them are robins. Four out of 28. This is a fraction, we write down the small number on the top, the big number on the bottom. So it's 4 out of 28. That will get you one mark, but it's a two mark question. So we've got to do something else. This simplest form bit over here means we have to cancel down if we can. Cancelling down means, can you spot a number that goes into both of these numbers with no remainder? Now 2 goes into both of those numbers. I'm just going to put 2 down there in a circle. 2 goes into 28 14 times, 2 goes into 4 2 times. So 4 out of 28 is the same as 2 out of 14, or 2 over 14 is a fraction. And then you try and do it again. Is there a number that will go into 2 and 14? Well, 2 goes into them both, so we can do it again. 2 goes into 14 7 times, 2 goes into 2 1 time. And we get an answer of 1 over 7. If you've ever got a 1 in a fraction, it can't be done again. You can't cancel it down any further. So that's the answer there, 1 over 7. Now you could, at this point, when you had the 4 over 28, have spotted that 4 goes into both of those numbers. 4 goes into 28 7 times. 4 goes into 4 1 time. We get the same answer. We haven't taken so many steps. Doesn't matter whether you do it all in one go or not, but the answer to that one is 1 over 7. The next question, we've got over here a pictogram. A pictogram is a question where pictures represent how many things happening. Over here we have two of these birds for robins. Two of these pictures stand for four robins. So each of these pictures must stand for two birds. Two there, another two there, make that four. So I'm going to put two in over here to complete the key. So for six blackbirds, six birds, that's two, another two, and another two. So two, two, and two make that six. For the starling, I need five, so that's two, and another two make four. Then I only need another one, which is half of this. So I do half of this diagram. I just do the left-hand part and not the right-hand part. Sparrow, three sparrows, well, that stands for two sparrows, that stands for one bird, so that's a three. So that is that one completed down there. This question carries on on the next page, part C. 500,000, so three noughts here means thousand, so it's 500,000 people record the types of birds in their garden. In total, they record eight million birds. On average, how many birds does each person record? What you always do for average is you do all your adding up. Now they've done the adding up and they've said it's eight million. Million is six noughts. So eight million is eight followed by six noughts. So you do your total and then you divide by how many people there were. And here there are 500,000 people. So we have to do that sum, the total number of things divided by how many people. If you've got a calculator, unit one, you're allowed a calculator, you can type it straight in. Eight million divided by 500,000. Make sure you put all the noughts in correctly. Get an answer there of 16. So that means on average, each of those 500,000 people saw 16 birds. Final bit, part D, a list of the birds at the bird table. Different sorts of birds. Some birds are there more than once. Robin is there, for example, three times. It says one bird flies away. Another bird arrives. 
The new mode is Robin. Mode means it is there the most. So after one bird has gone and another bird has arrived, Robin is there the most. And let's have a look. At the moment there are three Robins here. Robin 1, Robin 2 and Robin 3. Sparrows, there's just one. Blackbirds, there are one, two, three, four. And starlings, there's there one, two. Robin has got to end up the most. But at the moment, before any birds go or come, at the moment there are more blackbirds than there are robins. So a blackbird has got to go away. So it's got to be a blackbird that goes away. Otherwise, there are still four blackbirds there. It's more than anybody else. So once a blackbird is gone, they're not there anymore. There are now three blackbirds and three robins. But we know the new mode is the robin. We know there are now more robins than anything else. So the bird that arrives now, that has got to be a robin. And that's that first question completed.